Christina Farrell, Master Teaching Artist in Music and Drama, and I'd like to share with you one of my favorite traditional songs called I Had a Rooster. And this song is great because of the structure of the song. It's a cumulative song, which means that you add on a phrase for each uh, verse that you repeat, and so the song gets longer and longer. But this is a great teaching tool because it allows children a chance to think about sequencing. So often when I do this one, I start with three barnyard animals and I like to sequence them from loudest to quietest. So I'll start by introducing the animals in our song. So we have our rooster, who's very loud. He has to wake up all the animals on the farm. So we practice our loud rooster sound. Cock-a-doodle-doo-dee-doodle-dee-doodle-dee-doo. And then I'll ask the children to um, think about these two animals, the cat and the mouse, and which one is louder and which one is quieter. And usually they start with the quietest first. So the mouse is very quiet, and we practice our quiet mouse squeaks. Squeak, 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 squeak. And then the cat is somewhere in between. So the cat's not too quiet, not too loud. And we practice our cat sound. Meow, meow. And now we have a nice sequence from loudest to quietest that we can put in the song, which goes like this. I had a rooster and the rooster pleased me. I fed my rooster on the greenberry tree. The little rooster says cock-a-doodle-doo-dee-doodle-dee-doodle-dee-doo. I had a cat and the cat pleased me. I fed my cat on the greenberry tree. The little cat says meow, meow. The little rooster says cock-a-doodle-doo-dee-doodle-dee-doodle-dee-doo. I had a mouse and the mouse pleased me. I fed my mouse on the greenberry tree. The little mouse says squeak, squeak. The little cat says meow, meow. The little rooster says cock-a-doodle-doo-dee-doodle-dee-doodle-dee-doo. So the children can practice using their loud, medium, and quiet voices throughout the song, and they can hear how that changes, which is great. But you could change this to be any sequence you want. You could go from the biggest animal to the smallest animal. You could do it in order of a story that you just read. What animal did you see first, second, or third? So you can adapt the song in a variety of ways. And I also like to use this song to reinforce some basic math concepts. So we have three animals in our song, and we count how many berries we have on our tree. And then at the end, the animals can come and they can eat the berries. So the rooster comes and eats a berry. And how many berries do we have left on the tree? And so we can go through and do some basic math as the animals eat their green berries. So it's a song that serves many purposes in the classroom. And if you like the idea of using a cumulative song, think of some others that you might know, um, such as I Know No Lady Who Swallowed a Fly, or The Green Grass Grew All Around, or other great songs for adapting as well. Thank <laughs> you.